Fox 9 Buzz starts right now. Uh, all right, let's uh, switch gears and talk about probiotics. Uh, have you, you've heard of antibiotics, but maybe you haven't heard of probiotics. Yeah, these live microorganisms are now showing up in a variety of products marketed to keep your children and you healthy. Yeah, here to help us sort it all out and find out if probiotics are right for your kids is probiotic scientist Dr. Greg Lair. La Lair, please. Lair. Lair. Very nice to be, uh, have you here. Thank I you. I like Dr. Much. Greg. I like Dr. Greg, too. Hey, Dr. Greg. I like Dr. Greg, too. <laughs> All right, you've worked on probiotics for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, for those folks at home, I mean, you, you know the word probiotics, but what are probiotics? Probiotics are the healthy bacteria that live within us, mainly in our gastrointestinal tract. So these are the good guys. The we good gut stuff. The good gut stuff. Okay, so a recent study, and this one was out of Australia, showed that uh, probiotics have actually promise in, in helping those ailments, uh, uh, everything from allergies to stomach problems. Uh, ex explain how you can uh, help your kids in the process, because I think adults may be focused on this, but mm -hmm. let's talk kids right now. Kids are the, really a, a, a huge primary audience for probiotics because their immune systems are less developed than ours as adults. So if you get probiotics into kids, there's been all kinds of benefits attributed to probiotic consumption. The problem is getting it into kids and how do they like to consume them. They don't want to swallow capsules necessarily. So there's interesting different delivery vehicles or ways to get probiotics that children like. How do we choose a supplement, I mean, correctly? Because there's a lot out there. There's a lot out there. So there's a few things you got to look for. Count, so numbers are mm -hmm. important, and products that declare a shelf life. Products that declare at time of manufacture means nothing to you and I. That means it had it when it left the factory, but it doesn't mean it's there on the shelf, right? So you look for a declared shelf life, you look for good counts, and you look for mixed cultures. By that, I mean um, the diversity of probiotic cultures within that product. All right, you brought some examples. Sorry, um, I did. So here today. a lot of times people think probiotics, they think yogurt. And yogurt's great nutrition, mm -hmm. um, but you got to watch sugar intake. But yogurts typically don't bring you the dose or the numbers of probiotics that you would get in one little capsule. So there's a variety of probiotic products out there. Um, this is really unique because these are like little pieces of white chocolate oh. that kids absolutely love. <laughs> the, you can't. Kids and 40 year olds. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Kids of all ages. Are you 40, by the way? I'm 40. Oh, yeah. yeah. Old by your <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and what uh, else? Some, do we? some of these probiotics are, are marketed to, um, to infants and infant formula? You'll find them in infant formula here in the U.S., but more predominantly overseas. It's, it's pretty well acknowledged that probiotics from birth to elderly is hugely important in managing not only gastrointestinal health, but immune health. And there's all kinds of benefits. Here's a product that's dedicated to heart health through probiotics. So the, the benefits of probiotics are going outside of the gut, so to speak. A good thing to look for with probiotics, with a lot of stuff, there's a limited shelf life. You can't just buy these for kid A and kid B comes along, I've named them after letters, yes, uh, <laughs> you know, three years later and expect the same things you might have left over to work. Is that right? No, there is a limited shelf yeah. life. I mean, these products, a, a lot of the quality products you'll find in the shelf are designed for room temperature stability. There's yeah. technology that's out there to allow you to do that, but 18 months, 24 months is okay. a max. Um, keep it in the refrigerator once you get it home, and you should be good to go. And all of these available, these are all available pretty readily and pretty easily. They're available locally in natural health food stores, independent retailers, Cub Foods, Buyer Lee's, et cetera. What's the thing with the monkey on it? Is it those are, that's a little yogurt? Oh, those are just animals. <laughs> yeah, this those is animals. just what I'm talking yeah. about. There's a lot of products sugar. dedicated for kids, but yeah. watch sugar intake, and it's not giving you the, the dose of products that you'd get in a traditional capsule format or even a powder format or these fun little cubes. Okay. Those all right. Who wouldn't like those cubes? Yeah. White chocolate. Uh, yeah. Probiotic scientist Dr. Greg Lair. Uh, Lair? <laughs> Dr. Greg. <laughs> Tell me, Dr. Greg. Dr. We're firing Greg. on all pistons this morning. We are. All right. Thanks, Dr. Really? Greg. Thank you very You're much. Yes, yeah, some good stuff. All right. Well, you don't.